he has given me the thumbs up. Good morning. Good morning. It is just past 11 a.m. We had one full stop, but not on my Facebook page. Good morning and welcome to Pinhole Quilty. <laughs> Pete's phone is now ringing. I've turned the sound off mine, but Pete's phone is going. Oh, it's all happening here. Uh, we've had Derek and Sandra visit the showroom. Derek is one of our handy quarter engineers and he's driven over, come over on the ferry with Sandra, his wife. She has a handy quilter Avante and um, Derek will be working on our stand at Festival of Quilts. Festival of Quilts at the NEC in Birmingham will be starting on oh, Thursday yeah, if yeah. you're a customer, um, we'll um, but it starts much earlier, obviously, for us. And we've been uh, busily, I can honestly say, busily, busily as a bee. Um, as a proverbial be working away, uh, getting ready for Festival of Quilts. Many of you will think, well, you haven't been on the Festival of Quilts website. Um, no, but we have actually kind of been there. It's just that um, unfortunately the organizers uh, were a little behind, shall we say, um, and uh, we had booked it, but um, we didn't appear on the website. So anyway, we're there now. Um, Everything is fine, except on their website, we appear as stand M9. There is no stand M9. We are stand M7. M7, Hall 9, near the entrance to Hall 9, near the VIP area. How appropriate, handy quilt owners, VIPs. That's what exactly what we feel. Anyway, I'm going to take a little breath for a moment. Pete is back, having answered his phone. Is everything okay? Have we got... Val Brooks on, do we have it not on my personal Facebook page with David Lemaitre going, hi Liz, why are you on Facebook? And Di, who's also a personal friend, saying, hi Liz, have we got people? I'm just, just the... trying to see. Because it's always a big sign. If there's nobody on, it's usually a big sign. Yeah, we were the wrong way around to start with on the first one, which That's is why we had why to That's why we stopped it. it. Pete yes. went, this is wrong, this is wrong. And I went, are you sure? But he was right. Very often the case, I listen to my husband. He kind of thinks I don't, but I do actually. I, I kind of take it on board and think, hmm, he's usually right. But yes, so that. we have this morning, Jane Morley. Jane Morley, Val. we're going to see you on Friday, Saturday. Val Brooks. Val Brooks. Val, I've had an email from your new friend and she is traveling down to see a certain machine. She said, uh, what was she, she called? Um, jumping around, jumping around, bouncing whoop whoop was in her email. So I said, get in touch as soon as she knows that she's no longer bouncing, bouncing, and she can uncross everything. You know what we're talking about, Val. And I hope that everything works out because um, it would be lovely if it did, wouldn't it? Um, I'm keeping everything cross, Val. I'm hoping for a positive email later. I'm sure it will go okay. We've got Joyce in the States, who's uh, joined us as usual. That's great. Fantastic. Hello, and Joyce. Louise, you didn't mention that you were watching um, our shows on a Saturday, but oh, Louise has Louise. just visited on Friday. You did. Hello, Louise. And she's picking up a new Moxie on Monday. Yes. There we are. We look forward to seeing you, Louise. Not so far away, and we're not in, where do you think we were? Cornwall? Devon? Cornwall, I think. Cornwall. Pershaw is not in Cornwall. Actually, this is something that... Um, when Louise um, thought that we were in Cornwall, I suddenly realised that not everybody knows that Pershaw is in Worcestershire and even where Worcestershire is, Pershaw and Worcestershire are places a bit like Dumfries and Galloway. Apparently, according to residents of Dumfries and Galloway, it's a place that people drive through and go, well, where is Worcestershire and Herefordshire and Gloucestershire and all those other places that they drive through en route to Devon, Cornwall or up to more interesting places, they think. I'm very glad I live in Worcestershire because it's beautifully quiet here and um, it's lovely at the moment. In the heat, it was very hot actually, Pershaw is a very, very hot place in the summer. It has like a, a lovely sort of hot climate. Um, it has this, the river that comes up through um, and the valley that comes up through. It's a great fruit growing area. Um, gets very, very cold in winter and very, very hot in the summer. And um, it's not far from Oxford. <laughs> Louise, you could have come up before, but the great thing is you can come up for some training. We're going to be running lots and lots of training. Make sure I don't turn my, my little mic off here, my little Bluetooth mic. 
So, Louise, we look forward to seeing you on Monday. Congratulations on the purchase of your Moxie. Yes, she says she's very excited. And We're very excited. We've also got Maya from Melbourne, Australia. I, don't, I haven't seen you on our list before, Maya. No, hi, Maya. Um, and I think you win the prize for the longest name on Facebook. But uh, So I'm not going to try okay. and pronounce it all. <laughs> Maya, you, um, so Melbourne, my niece um, went out to Melbourne, having tried unsuccessfully many, many times. She's joined her boyfriend who is from Melbourne. Um, they'd been living, she'd been living out there for a while and unfortunately because of COVID had to come back and the whole oh, nightmare with the, oh, everything that's been happening with COVID and stuff. Anyway, Olivia's back out in Melbourne, absolutely loves Melbourne, absolutely loves her boyfriend. And um, yeah, she's loving, loving being out in Australia. So Melbourne's a beautiful city. Do love Melbourne. I, did, I didn't spend very long in Melbourne. I spent nearly a year traveling around Australia. Do love Australia. Did 27,000 miles in my Ford Falcon XC sedan 1976 with raised air vents called Do George. Doesn't sound very green to me. It wasn't. It was a 4.2 litre engine. <laughs> but I only went 55 miles an hour because the, um, because the gas. The gas, the um, petrol gauge, which I could actually watch it just, if I went over 55, I could actually watch it pretty much. Um, but he did have a very, very good engine and it was like driving an armchair. Right, who else? So lots of people, um, quite a few of them coming to festivals. So that's nice to see. Yes, we're going to talk about festival in a moment. We've so got, welcome everybody. We've got Susie in to... Dorset, Sally Botright is with us. Oh, excellent. Hi, Sally. Linda. Linda. Morning, Linda Jackson. Oh, Linda Jackson. Of course, Linda is definitely coming to festival because if you don't come to festival, we're in trouble. Um, I, I'm not teaching. <laughs> not your teaching classes, no. Your feathers class, Linda. We had a lovely chat yesterday, didn't we, Linda? We sorted lots of things out, and I'm very excited because um, I'm hoping to come to your classes if there's any spaces. Um, and Pete wants to come to your classes if there's any spaces. I don't know who's going to be on the stand on Sunday morning, Linda. Um, <laughs> Sally, are you busy on Sunday morning? Sally Botwright, can you take the stand and do some demos, please, on our stand M7? All right, who else have we got? Uh, Carol Beely, she's unable now to come to festival, unfortunately. Oh. Linda Gosselin, hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Linda, um, next year, um, I'm really hoping Pete wants to come to, to Academy in the States. I think we're going to put it in our diary, aren't we? I hope so. Yes, we really want to. So we'll see you at Academy in the Davis Conference Centre, Leighton, Utah. Let's hope that all the travel restrictions are nice yeah, and Yeah, really hope so, because that is a fantastic event. Um, for those who don't know, it's, um, it's Handy Quilter Runs, a fa fabulous consumer academy and retailer academy. Of course, this year it was a little bit little bit different um, because of COVID, but they still ran it for retail uh, for consumers. And then the Retailer Academy was just a, a virtual event. And uh, we, we, I, I sort of watched the videos and you've watched some of the videos, haven't you, Pete? Um, and there's some really exciting things coming along, including Bro Citra Light for Moxie owners and Simply 16 owners that we're going to talk about as well. Should we mention that at the end in a bit more? We could mention that. Do it now. Let's we can do it now. I've now mentioned this is, it. This Cats is all out the bag. free form, isn't it? Yeah, we are. I'm not doing any demos today. I'm just going to talk. And I've got a book about on here. I'm going to talk about that a little bit because it's quite funny. But first of all, much more important is Pro Stitcher Light. So anybody who's got a Moxie, including Louise, who came, who's picking up her machine on Monday, this is very exciting. And Linda Goslin will know a lot more about this probably than I do. But um, Pro Stitcher Light was announced uh, just, and Pro Stitcher Light is a version of Pro Stitcher. The Pro Stitcher is Handy Quilter's computerized package, and it's what people will have seen when they talk about a computerized version of. Um, it's basically where you can get the machine to move itself, and we program it. We get a design. It's a digitized design. We have a tablet above the machine. And if you come along to our stand, M7, at Festival of Quilts, we'll give you a demonstration. We have an Amara with Pro Stitcher. Now, Pro Stitcher Light is literally like a light version. Light is the American spelling, L-I-T-E. Um, and light will be, it, the actual look of it doesn't look any different, but there will be less designs. But you can buy them. You can buy designs. On um, on the internet, 
or the interweb, as John Scott calls it, the interweb. Somebody calls it interweb. Oh, it's on um, Gas Monkey, isn't it? On the interweb. Um, so post-citual light will be just a, a less, um, less versions of, of digital designs, but the actual functionality of it is, is not that much different. But the carriage is a little different and the motor is a little different. MOX is a much lighter machine than an Amara. So they have changed things a little. But the best thing is the price point will be less. But we don't know what that is yet. We don't. It will, I, we will be giving you more information when we have it. And if you come along to Festival of Quilts, or if you email us, if you're interested in Moxie with Pro Stitcher Lite, if you've got a Moxie already, please email us and we will send you more information. It's very, very exciting because I know that some of the people who've bought Moxie will want to have a computerized version in the future. And if you're thinking about a 15 inch long arm and you're thinking about investing in a long arm and you think in the future, I would love to have a computerized package. Come and see us at Festival of Quilts. There you go. Do you want to talk about timing on that, Liz? If you'd like me to talk about timing. I think we should. Just... We'll talk about timing. There we go. I can take a hint. The timing on that is we will have, I've been promised, that I will have, because we're in the UK, we have different electrical and electronic standards. Handy Quilter uh, meets all of the European and UK requirements for uh, electrical and electronic compatibility. They are very hot on their standards because Handy Quilter being a worldwide organization that ticks all the boxes for Japanese, Australian, and European standards because we are a good company. I say we, I talk about Handy Quilter as we because we are the distributor. Um, and this is a very, very good thing. Not all companies do all the standards. They kind of get people to order from the States and ship it in, but we don't do that. We literally have stock here in our warehouse and it all fits with the WE directive. We have all the wheelie bins and the crosses out and we use a company called a European um, organization um, that's approved called Intertech. If you look at the back of all our machines, it has Intertech on it. The new Postage Light will have an Intertech sticker on it. In order to meet those compatibility standards, we will have a tested uh, machine ready for November 2021. You'll be able to come along to our showroom in November 2021 and see a Pro Stitcher Lite. We will be able to demonstrate it to you. And then we will be shipping Pro Stitcher Lights at the beginning of 2022. That's the time scale. Good. Perfect. Um, okay, so that's Pro Stitcher Lite. Very, very exciting. And I love all the computerized stuff. As an ex-systems engineer for IBM, it's right up my street. So if you're looking for support and all that kind of stuff, I love doing it on Zoom. I love teaching on Zoom. Um, I think that actually, because I'm kind of a bit of a visual person, I love visualizing what people are doing on Zoom. And if, you, if you're interested in doing more training or support or anything else like that, one-to-one -one training on Zoom, let me know, because it's kind of one of my things. I put my little headset on. I don't disturb Pete anymore. Got a little headset with a thing. And I have my two screens. So I have my Pro Stitcher SIM and I have a big screen and I have lots of like um, sample things that we can do. And also I've got my Amara Pro Stitcher. So we can actually, I can actually show you what I do on our Pro Stitcher. That's very cool. And because um, I, I used to do a lot of training at IBM with um, large systems and things. So it's right up my street. Love it. Okay, that's Pro Stitcher. Next, we're going to talk about what we should get. Where should we end up next? <laughs> this is your free form <laughs> event. Somebody's asked this morning, what are you talking about this morning? In, in other words, what is the subject of this morning's uh, broadcast, Liz? I think it's broadcast. Can I talk about cricket next? Talk about cricket. If you like. Yeah, it's a bit free form this morning. This is free form. So there's no demonstration. This, this is morning. a bit like my mind. This is how, this is how my mind works. <laughs> bit scary isn't it so I was listening to the radio this was such a beautiful week here you know the, the temperature in our showroom has been quite warm the temperature outside has been quite warm it's been hotter in here anyway Pete was playing cricket Pete was playing cricket I was just enjoying a little bit of time outside listening to the radio because we had a power cut so I couldn't sit inside 
I couldn't cook anything. And we had an hour and a half power cut. So I was listening to regular radio, like tune in, aerial. It was Andy Zaltzman, um, a comedian in the UK called Andy Zaltzman. Andy Saltzman is a multi-talented man. And Andy Saltzman does the statistics for cricket, doesn't he, Pete? He does. He took over from... Somebody man. else. Somebody else. <laughs> you can't remember he used to do the sats for cricket. The be- they called him the Bearded Wonder. I've forgotten his real name. Okay. I just think of him as the Bearded Wonder. Right. Well, the Bearded Wonder sadly passed away. And Andy Saltzman, who he looks... He doesn't look like a man who would do the stats for cricket. But anyway... And his Zaltzman does the stats for cricket, and he's also a comedian. But he was talking about cricket. Pete's playing cricket. I'm listening to this in a sort of beautiful garden, in the shade because it's so hot. And then he started talking about William McGonagall. Now, Pete and I have been up to Scotland a few times, and on the times we've been up to Scotland, I've mentioned to Pete about the poet, the well-known Scottish poet, William McGonagall. Years ago, my dad and my mum and my two brothers and I, we went up to Scotland on a holiday. We didn't often go to Scotland on holiday. And when we were in Scotland, it rained a lot. So we didn't do very much. Um, My dad was always very good at being creative about things that we could do on a rainy day in Scotland. So one of them was to get out the map of Scotland and kind of randomly find a place name that looked interesting and imagine that place name as a character and draw it. This is kind of thing my dad would do. Mine was Anstruther Easter. So I made up, he was an anteater and he had a coat and he looked a bit like Uncle Bulgaria. This is the kind of creative things we would do. Anyway, while we're doing this, my mum and my dad went into the town and he came back with a book. He came back with a book and he'd been talking to the bookshop owner as my only my dad would do and he came back with a book. I have the book because when I heard uh, Andy Saltzman talking about William McGonagall, I thought I've still got that book of poetry, more poetic gems selected from the works of William McGonagall, poet and tragedian. This is the book, the very book. 75p, 1974. I mean, who keeps books this old? Me. (sighs) Let's just see. Fully the equal of the original poetic gems. Daily Mail. Characteristically and delightfully, McGonagall, Dundee Courier and Advertiser. Sunday Times said, this new collection which all students of the sublimely awful will treasure, shows the great McGonagall in all his terrible variety. I think you get the picture. Now, if you're not familiar with the works of William McGonagall, you really now will be. Now, I'm going to try and read out to you a couple of, just to give you a flavour. Now, at the age of 11, that tells you how old I am, these were hilarious and I honestly, I can only imagine what state my dad was in, having probably spent some time with the bookshop owner reading these, because when he came back, he just said, you're not going to believe these poems. And he started reading them out to us, and he had us all in hysterics. This is the kind of person my dad is. So I'm just going to give you a couple of these. This won't take long, and we can get back to quilting in a moment. This is called the ancient town of Leith. Ancient town of Leith, most wonderful to be seen, with your many handsome buildings and lovely links so green. And the first buildings I may mention are the courthouse and town hall. Also Trinity House and the sailor's home of call. Then as for Leith Fort, It was erected in 1779, which is really grand, which is now the artillery headquarters in Bonnie, Scotland. And as for the docks, they are magnificent to see. They comprise five docks, two piers, 1,141 yards long, respectively. And there's steamboat communication with London and the north of Scotland, and the fares are really cheap, and the accommodation most grand. 
and there's many public works in Leith, such as flour mills and chemical works, where medicines are made for curing many ills. Besides, there are sugar refineries and distilleries, also engineering works, sawmills, rope works and breweries, where many of the inhabitants are daily employed, and the wages they receive make their hearts feel overjoyed. In past times, Leith shared the fortunes of Edinburgh, because it withstood nine months' siege, which caused them great sorrow. They fought against the Protestants in 1559 and in 60, but they beat them back manfully and made them flee. I think you get the idea. I particularly liked, I have to say, the precise yardage of the docks. I think it's his accuracy of the yardage, 1,141 yards. So that was Leith. <clears throat> it does go on. And the next one, I'm going, I just selected a couple. Again, it's the precision that really stands McGonagall in good stead in the poets of the world. The Heatherblend Club Banquet. Really, I should have a Scottish accent, but I'm not, I'm not going to subject you to that. It was on the 16th of, of October in 1894. I was invited to Inverness, not far from the seashore, to partake of a banquet prepared by, by the Heatherblend Club. Gentlemen who honoured me without any hubbub. The banquet was held in the Galleon Hotel and the landlord, Mr. McPherson, treated me right well. Also, the servant maids were very kind to me, especially the girl who polished my boots, made, made beautiful to see. The banquet consisted of roast beef, potatoes and red wine. Also, hair soup and sherry and grapes, most fine. And baked pudding and apples, lovely to be seen. Also, rick sweet, sweet milk and delicious cream. Mr. Gossip, a noble Highlander, acted as chairman. And when the banquet was finished, the fun began. And I was requested to give a poetic entertainment, which I gave and which pleased them to their heart's content. And so it goes on. And it's just, it's just, just brilliantly, um, I, one of the things that he also puts in, but sort of gives no measure in terms of the, um, the timing of it, is the dates. So throughout it all, you'll get the date. But it's just a number to Mr. McGonagall. But it takes you a long time to read it. Anyway, if you um, if you ever want to know, um, want to enjoy his poetry, I'm sure it's available online. There are more poetic gems by Mr. McGonagall. Enjoy. Now, um, moving on to um, less poetic gems, but more interesting thing to quilters, uh, we are going to now talk about some other things. Shall we talk about our offers. Yes, the, yes, talk about accessories and the fact we're not taking them to Festival no. of Quilts this year. Yeah, um, I put on Facebook, you'll see my post on Facebook, it has a picture of 2019, our last normal Festival of Quilts. It was a wonderful Festival of Quilts. We had lots of people helping us and it was uh, fantastic with all of the, the people who came over to help us from Handy Quilter. Um, some lovely, lovely educators um, who came over um, from Canada and, and from the States. But unfortunately this year we have a smaller stand, um, we don't have any of the educators. Angela Waters couldn't join us and she was going to be helping out on our stand and it was all, oh it was just going to be wonderful. Um, this year is very very different. Um, it still will be wonderful and we are so looking forward to seeing our customers and for those of you who can make it. But we appreciate that not everybody can make it for lots of reasons. Um, and it's been a terrible year for some of our customers. And we, you know, our hearts go out to those of you who've suffered. But we are going to have a great show. Um, and those of you who can make it, it's going to be great. We are not taking any accessories to the show. We are not doing any pickups at the show. What we are doing is we are offering anybody who can order on our website the following two things. From now until the next two weeks, stopping at uh, 11 a.m. in two weeks' time, there'll be 10% off any products that have not already been discounted. That does not include ProSitch, it does not include any of our major <laughs> machines and frames, and it doesn't include things like the Insight table, but it includes pretty much everything else. I've excluded classes, etc. But other accessories, insight drawer, insight uh, table, all those sort of things. Um, 
It doesn't include the Glide Thread Club because that's already discounted. So, you know, you put them in your shopping basket. I think I've gone through every product on our website and just 10% off. Plus, orders over £50, post free. Okay? So, even if you're coming to the show, or an, and if you're not coming to the show, order online on our website. Now, we're not going to be here, but we have our, um, the lovely Pauline, who's also coming to the show on Saturday with Sharon and friends. Um, she will be coming in, I believe. And so she'll be helping us out by picking orders for you and dispatching them. And then we'll be back in as normal anyway next week. And not next week, week after. So we'll be able to pick orders as long as well as Pauline. So that's our offer. We do not have as big a stand because there's only a limited number of people. And we're just doing machine demos. That is really the focus this year, okay? And we have our Handy Quilter classroom. It's in workshop number five. Don't know where it is yet, but we'll find it. Hopefully you'll find it if you're on the classes. That is what we're doing. Also, we have a gift for Handy Quilter owners. Little gift, little gift. It's lovely, but a little gift. Handy Quilter owners, please come along and pick up your free gift. If you would like to have a demonstration, come and try out the Capri, the Sweet 16 with Insight Table, the Moxie, and the Amara with the Pro Stitcher. Come and have your free gift after your demonstration. If you're doing one of the classes in the classroom, you will get a free gift with your Handy Quilter bag. It will be sitting on the chair in the classroom. Yes. So if you qualify for a free gift, you will get your free gift. Um, anything else you want to say about that, Pete? No, I think you've covered that. Great. Liz, that's good. Lovely. I can talk about other like new stuff, and then I can talk about other stuff that we've got here. And then I think we're not far off. God, I can talk forever, can't I? <laughs> Short session this morning, though, because we do have to get ready for festival, lots of machines to prepare. I know. We've been doing a lot of stuff. I know it doesn't show because I've got a ton of stuff to do still. I've got blog posts to write and all that. I've got those photos to get up from the Anglia Ruskin University. Thank you for putting those in the Dropbox in the, on the Google Drive. Um, should I mention Invisible? New, new colors arriving soon. They should be here Monday. Yeah. Yep. They'll, they'll be up. They'll be so, here Monday, yes. Yeah. So we've got mm, 14 new colours of Invisifil, 2,500 metres. Same price as the existing colours that we've got on there. They'll be up, so um, they'll be at 10% off, like an intro off almost. Um, so new Invisifil colours, 2,500 metres, 14 new colours. Um, one of our lovely customers, mentioning no names, has helped by kind of going, I'd like to order these. And so we've Pick some extra ones as well and look lovely. So 14 new colors of those. They'll be going up next week. And I will be ordering more threads, but I'm afraid just everything is literally, we've just been so busy, so um, which is wonderful. But I'm afraid uh, best laid plans, to be honest, um, have gone have gone to one side and we've just been focusing on our customers um, and machines. Um, and I, I will be getting those threads in. And I know, Georgie, that you're one of those people who wanted threads, and I apologize for not having done that. Um, I did say I would. Now, next thing is, uh, you better not see my notes, because it's, it's like when people walk out of 10 Downing Street and like people take a photo and zoom in. I hope nobody can zoom in on this stuff. It looks like a complete chaos, um, but I can read it. Da -da -da. I'm just going through this, classes. I have everything in place in terms of all of the information now for the classes starting in September with Abigail. And I will be putting those up soon, very, very soon. And I know people have been asking and I have been responding to that information requests to, on an individual basis. And I hope I've answered all those people who've been asking about that. Secondly, Linda's ambassador event Pete and I visited potential venue and we think we've got a really wonderful venue. 
Plus, obviously, we're going to be running the main event from our showroom here. For up to 16 people, we've had a lot more interest than 16 people. It is going to be potentially oversubscribed. We will be giving priority to handy quilter owners. We will fill it with handy quilter owners. Okay. If we are oversubscribed, Linda and I have already discussed the potential for other events. So do not worry too much about that. We will have other events available for you. Okay, but I, I want you to know that that is four day event, which will be pretty special event, which will have, you know, it will be all four days. There will be the potential for, it will be kind of the four day event. You, if you live locally, great, you'll just do the four day event. If you don't live locally and you want accommodation, you can have accommodation. If you don't live locally, you want accommodation and the evening package, you can book that. That's how we'll do it. I've got two potential lovely venues um, for accommodation. I think you're gonna like, I think you're gonna love it. It's beautiful around here. I mean, when I think, when we went to that venue, Pete, even, you, even, well, I was flabbergasted by how beautiful that view was and how even just 10 minutes from here, the perspective of the lenches and stuff and that view, even just from where we are, how different it was. It was gorgeous, wasn't it? It was. Any but questions? But yes, our multi-day training events, normally Academy, which we ran with our international educators they they're very much social events as well yes so that's the great benefit of running a multi-day event and Absolutely. i'm sure those of you that come on this event with linda uh, in october will yeah. very much enjoy everything that uh, we put on around it yes. as well as just the training yeah. which will be fantastic as well yeah but that'll be intense so you'll need some leisure time too you will and we've got some nice little We've got some potential side programs, some potential partner programs as well. So this is the kind of thing. And um, Linda will be at one of those venues as well. So this is a really nice thing, you know. Um, it, it's one of the things that people don't realize until they have a handy quilter is this, the kind of handy quilter family thing that that we, I, I think we have, we have built built that very much and and I know from some of the people that have built lovely friendships from some of the academy programs we've run in the past um, and prior to the the 2017 event uh, 2018 event that it's hard to explain until you're in it what that means but it does mean a lot and um, that's one of the uniques that we we can bring um, and until you're you're part of it you don't really see it but I think it's a very special, it's a very special environment. And if you love, if you love to have more, you have the option of it. If you just want to have, you know, dip into it, you know, when you want, you can just do that. You pick and choose. It's not compulsory. Um, and you, you choose that to the level that you would like. Um, it's an, it's a inclusive if you wish. And um, it's very much to the level that you prefer. Uh, long arm learning curve the group the Facebook group is also something that is something that is it's a private group you don't get access to it until you own a handy quilter but we're talking like 800 900 members That's worldwide right. admin myself Linda and a lady called Nell who is a handy quilter owner that that you know is a user so we've got myself you know the distributor Linda ambassador, educator, and a user. Gives us a very nice perspective. We chat about things. We make sure that there is respect, that the answers are respectful. We, we keep that balance, we hope. And I think there, are some, there is some very, very um, good information in that group. Again, you don't see it until you're a handy quilter owner, but it's a very valuable resource. These are things that you don't see. Uh, right, the other thing is information on these things here. Pete just wanted me to point out that there are, bearing in mind, there's this nice offer, 10% off, 50, over 50 pounds free shipping. The kind of thing that you might want to get if you've just had your machine or perhaps don't have a second bobbin case, very useful. Sometimes when people have got a domestic machine, your um, sewing machine um, salesperson might recommend getting a second 
I used to call it black latch um, bobbin case, similar here. Um, you can adjust one of them and keep a spare. You wouldn't believe the number of times that if you have a problem with your bobbin case, it, it's a bank holiday weekend and it's a Friday or a Saturday and you dropped it on the floor or you dropped the screw out of it. The spring just jumped out of the bobbin case and you can't find it. Have a second bobbin case. It's worth it. Thousands of pounds spent on your bobbin, on your machine, and for the sake of a bobbin case, you cannot use it for three days. It's, I've done it. I have done it myself. So, Serliani bobbin case, if you search for it on our website, that's a good investment. Okay. Very, our most popular foot, the micro foot came out last year. Was it last year? Year before. The micro foot. It looks like somebody took a foot and sawed the end off it, but it's fantastic for micro quilting and micro stippling. We highly recommend it. We show it to you and get you to have a play with it on our foundation training course. Micro foot. Absolutely brilliant. Festival of Quilts special offer. I'll be doing the over 50 pounds post-free bit after 12 o'clock. Don't put the stuff and don't check out until 12.30 because I'm not at my computer yet. Hand wheel, second hand wheel. <clears throat> this is a very useful thing that you can put onto your studio two frame or onto the little buddy quilt frame. There is a gallery two equivalent on the <clears throat> gallery two frame. Fits on the studio one frame as well. It also it? fits on the studio one frame as Pete says. And that is a very useful way of, you can, um, there's a nice little video that uh, Jamie Wallen did. I think other people might've done it. I think it might have it on some of the Handy Quilter Live uh, video, I can't remember, but um, you can even out your backing uh, fabric by, rolling it forward and rolling it back a few times and then that just sorts that out. It's actually really useful. That's a great tip. Pat. Great tip. Great tip. Thanks, Jamie. This is one of the full line stencils. It's a bit like a screen printing. Where the uh, white line is, you use a pounce chalk on this and you just pounce just means you wipe it over with like a, a white chalk that when you use a hot iron, it disappears or you can just microfiber it away. And this is by Talen Jeffrey. And this is our most popular design. We have plenty in stock. And if you're looking for feathers or a way of practicing feathers on your quilt, this is a lovely design. On the back, there's um, an example of how it can look. Um, it's a bit like the Amish feather, the sort of, uh, when you put them together as a border. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful feather, very elegant. And incidentally, there's some lovely designs by Talen. Um, she brought them out, um, or full line stencils, just produced, excuse me, just produced them just after we'd ordered with our last delivery. And um, so I didn't get any in because we placed a very big order last time. After Festival Quilts, I'll be ordering some new stock and I will be including the new designs by Talen um, on that next delivery. And there's some videos that go with it, which I'll be also um, putting on our website. So if you're looking for Selene's new designs, um, we'll be getting those in. I think that is it. Not quite. Not quite. We're also going on another road trip. We've been to Scotland a couple of times yeah. recently. We are going to a road trip down to the southeast of England. We are. We are going down to um, Brighton. We're doing installation. And uh, as a result, we are passing through Surrey and we can go into Kent. So. If you need your machine serviced um, and you would like us to pop in and do a service on your suite or Avante or Amara, and it's coming up for a service, please email us. Uh, give us your postcode, uh, send us your system information screen um, and let us know. Uh, it's 20, ooh, oh, nasty big fly. My white trousers, I wasn't gonna squidge it. Um, that wouldn't look good on Facebook, would it? Uh, so let us know 
uh, what whether there's any issues with your machine because we will we might be able to bring some parts if there are we need to know that in advance so that's week commencing 23rd of august exactly it won't be the 23rd but 24th and onwards um, please do let us know asap so that we can put you into our schedule we would love to see you if we're um, if we can pop, pop that into our schedule, that would be wonderful. It's good if we can tie those things in together. It also means that if you're in our schedule this year, then in two years' time, you'll be in our schedule too. And that could be very convenient on a regular basis. So, nothing else on my list, Pete? No, I think that's it. Great. Fantastic. Well, we've covered everything. Yep, so I think it's just summing up. Just Liz, sum up. Really? We've got our 10% off. We've got over £50 post free on our handyquilter.co.uk online shopping basket website. Also, don't forget there are um, there's a second user um, Sweet 16 for sale, um, 3500 It's a really good price. It's a beautiful machine. Service it myself, and I can honestly say it's sewing beautifully. Um, come and have a demonstration when we get back from Festival of Quilts if you're interested in that. It's available, I can see it from here. Um, and come and have a test drive on that. If you're interested in the Insight table for it, uh, you can team it up with that and upgrade it. We're on stand M7 at Festival of Quilts, Thursday to Sunday. There are a few places left, just a few places left with Linda's classes on the rulers. On the Sunday morning, I think there's a couple, two or three maybe, because Sunday's a bit... Um, you know, more less popular day, but to be honest, it's a great day to come. Actually, don't book those because Pete and I want to do that. And Sally, Sally's going to do the um, the stand for us uh, while Pete and I go to that class. Um, only joking, Sally. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, come to the stand on Friday. We've got. Shall I mention about Joe? Absolutely. Oh yeah. Jo so Joe Avery, our Moxie mentor, is going to be doing. Um, is coming to the show. Um, she's also doing some lectures and stuff. I mean, Joe Avery, fantastic. Carla Workshop, I think she's doing, I can't remember to be honest, uh, where, but have a look at Joe Avery's work. She's absolutely amazing on color and she does some fabulous things um, on her Instagram. Go to her Instagram, tells you all about stuff and you can look her up on Festival of Quilts. But Joe has got a moxie and she's gonna be doing most of Friday on our stand, part of Thursday, and maybe a little bit of time on Saturday. Um, jo is wonderful, and she's doing some beautiful work on her moxie. Come along and see her on Friday, M7, Pinnell Quilting, Handy Quilter Stand, near the entrance to Hall 9. Um, we're delighted that she's joining us this year. Thank you, Jo. Right, what else? Uh, da -da -da, I think that's it. Summing up, just thank you so much for every, to everybody who's joined us live. It was very late notice, mainly because I was just getting everything done for festival, like booking the car park and then the electrics and all the, everything. And Facebook Live next week. Face? No, oh no, you no, know, even more. I'm going to do Facebook. I'm going to do Facebook Live every day from Festival of Quilts. That's what I'm going to do. So look out for it. I'm literally going to do it spontaneously. So if you see. Penal Quilting is going live now. I am literally going to be going live now. That's my plan with my camera, with my little speakers. Two, we've got two of these and Pete's going to be doing it. I've been cutting his hair so he looks very smart at the moment. You can't see, but he'll be going to be on the camera. I'm going to make sure he's on the camera. And um, I'm going to get, I'll probably talk to Joe. I'm sure that Joe will be happy to on, be on the camera. Uh, so we're going to be doing it live from uh, Pinnell Quilting, Facebook Live from the NEC. Next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I look forward to catching up with you all um, then. So have a great week and we look forward to seeing you. Come and claim your free gift if you're a handy quilter owner. If you're not yet, come and have a play. See you there. Bye.